I want to tell you a quick story. A friend of mine lives in Chicago, nowhere near a wildfire zone. She hadn't lit a candle, hadn't opened her windows, but one day her throat was sore, her son was coughing, the house smelled off. She checked her local air quality index and it was worse than during wildfire season on the west coast. Turns out, smoke from hundreds of miles away had drifted over her city. She had no idea. If you think wildfire smoke only affects people near the flames, you've already been affected. And chances are, it's sitting in your living room right now. When we think of smoke, we think of bonfires or maybe someone grilling out back. But wildfire smoke, that's a different beast. You're not just inhaling wood, you're inhaling paint, plastic, pesticides, car tires, everything that burns in its path. And inside that thick gray haze are microscopic particles called PM2.5. They're 30 times smaller than the width of a human hair. They can slip right past your nose, deep into your lungs, and straight into your bloodstream. Once they're there, they can trigger inflammation anywhere in the body. That little headache you brushed off last week, that could be the wildfire smoke. That weird nosebleed, that fatigue, the tightness in your chest, that's your body waving a red flag. Let's say a fire breaks out in Northern California. Within hours, that smoke can drift into Oregon. By day two, it's over Idaho. Day three, Chicago. And sometimes it crosses the Atlantic. Yeah, Europe. In 2023, smoke from Canadian wildfires blanketed New York so thick, it looked like Mars. I remember people walking around in masks again. People were calling out of work, schools closed, all from a fire happening hundreds of miles away. So if you're waiting until the fire hits your country to worry, you're already breathing it in. Here's something I hear all the time. I think I'm just having allergies, but wildfire smoke acts like a ninja. It mimics allergy symptoms almost perfectly. Runny nose, red eyes, sinus pressure, coughing, but it's not your immune system freaking out over Poland. It's your body fighting back against toxic air. So if your symptoms spike randomly during a clear day, check your air quality. Don't just blame the flowers. Smoke is stubborn. Even after it's gone outside, it can hang out in your home like an uninvited guest who doesn't know when to leave. Your house traps it. Curtains, carpets, upholstery, even your AC system. It all holds on to particles. If you don't filter it out, it doesn't just disappear, it builds. You might feel better the next morning and think, ah, the smoke's gone. But what you're breathing indoors could still be three times worse than the air outside. You don't need a panic room, but you do need to treat your home like a safe zone. Close all windows and doors, use weather stripping on gaps, switch your HVAC to recirculate, and most importantly, upgrade your air filter. I've seen people duct tape their windows, run six fans, and still be exposed. Why? Because the filter in their HVAC system was the same one they bought a year ago from a big box store for $6. That's like putting up a screen door in a hurricane. A lot of people ask me, does my air conditioner clean the air? Short answer, no. Long answer, it can if it has the right filter. Most systems are running more six or eight filters. Great for dust but terrible for smoke. Wildfire smoke needs MRF-13. It traps 98% of airborne particles, including PM2.5, bacteria, allergens, and mold spores. It's like upgrading from a paper towel to a hazmat suit for your lungs. Here's what I would recommend. Filter buys MERV-13 filters. They're made in the US, they ship directly from the factory to your door, and they're designed specifically for situations like this. And because I work directly with the team at Filter Buy, we don't cut corners. We're obsessed with one thing, helping you breathe cleaner air every single day. That's our mission. That's our obsession. Wildfire season isn't going anywhere. And the sad truth, the fires are getting worse. Longer seasons, hotter summers, more smoke. But the good news is your home can still be your refugee. Don't wait until you feel sick. Don't wait until the sky turns orange. Take action now. Change your filter, seal your windows, know your air quality, and breathe like it matters because it does. If this video helped you, share it with someone you care about. Help them protect their space. And if you want more ways to keep your home safe, clean, and healthy, make sure to subscribe because air should never be an afterthought.